Hello friends, good morning. Today I am going to explore how unrealized currency gain and losses report can help the financial managers and CEOs to uh, you know, create a good balance sheet for all the receivables and payables based on the fluctuation of currency rates on daily basis. So this is the unrealized currency gain and loss report which can be generated as on date and we can pass a journal entry uh, to create an impact on our uh, you know, receivables and payables outstandings. So how do we configure that? So what I have done is I have created uh, and enabled multiple currencies. My base currency is INR and counterpart currencies are Euro where I have given a rate on you know 8, 9 and 10th of the months. Then for AED also same way and then uh, I have done it the similar way 8, 9 and 10th to create an example like 8, uh, you know, September 9th, September 10th, September and different rates are there for the currency compared to Indian rupees. And then I have uh, booked some bills on different date to different customers in different currency. This is my INR currency, so it won't impact much. But when I make a transaction in any other currency, I can see the uh, live rate coming from my account on 10th. And on journal items, I can see the 10,000 euro was the customer invoice amount and counterpart my Indian rupees bill book uh, was showing 9,25,000. Same way if I am creating any new invoice for any new customer, that customer belong to let's say UAE and I am book a bill on AED. So as soon as I give a date, you can see a currency rate compared to Indian rupees like 0 0.04. When I change the date to 9th, it's changed to 0 0.042 on 8th, it has another rate. So let me book a bill on 8th of uh, the month I can just you know create a cell and then I am selling 100 and add you know 1200 so 1 lakh 20,000 AED is the amount in journal item uh, save this let me remove this okay Coming back, I can see 27 lakh is the outstanding amount. So as soon as I book the bill on 8, 9, it will showing this. For the same customer, if I am booking a bill on let's say 10th, it will show different amount. See, that's the how currency fluctuation is impacting my, uh, you know, business on different date. So you can see uh, there are multiple invoices uh, which are booked on different currencies. And then I have created several vendor bills. So this is for uh, Euro bill, which was booked on nine. If I create a new bill for new vendor, let's say, and then vendor belongs to United States. And then I am booking a bill in USD. So you can see 0 0.011. So as soon as I book the bill on 9th, you can see 0 0.011905 on 8th, the rate is this. And then I am booking a bill at, you know, $10,000. So on 8th of uh, September, uh, 8 lakh 20,000 was the, you know, amount I should be able to, you know, book. And that is how uh, different bills are booked in different currency. Let me create another bill with another vendor that belongs to UAE making the transaction in AED this time and I am booking a bill date of 10th and then I'm buying something 20 units at 200 so you can see the amount so these are now my positioning so as soon as I go to my balance sheet I am able to see my receivables 6469 and then my payables 18,26,000 in my own currency now i would like to see my positioning as on you know a currency fluctuation date so what i do is i will open the unrealized currency gain and loss report and then as on date uh, you can see the different bills are booked based on the currency 
and then for different currency i am able to see the uh, different rates so now what i need to do is now as on 11th 9 i want to set my you know exchange rates uh, you know compared to one inr and then i will uh, you know make an entry over there so let's say uh, this will be let's say I need to check the currency rates so what will be my currency rates and I would create some fluctuations over here so as on date the as per the produce rate you can see it is as on today this much is my you know balance as on current date okay and the total is 54 87 and then balance in foreign currency in AD in euro then in USD uh, you can see and then debtors and creditors like receivable and payables are there okay accounts to adjust now if I make any changes to my currency like this goes to 1 3 you can see the fluctuations over here in terms of how uh, adjustments how much adjustment will be required to do to manage the differences if i also change uh, for this like a new currency rate and for this now you can see change in exchange rate it's 28 to let's say 29 so you can see the fluctuations and its relevant adjustment so what odu will do is now if i go to my balance sheet this is my balance sheet 6469 in 1826 are the amount i am now going to create an adjustment entry for all the you know uh, journals and whatever you know uh, expense and income account i want to choose and system will automatically reverse this transaction tomorrow because I need to just position myself in better way so I say for an exchange you know loss for an exchange profit accounts I am going to use so it will create the counterpart entry for whatever the amount uh, it is debit and uh, credit and it will create one entry today okay. so this entry is going to create for the adjustment and yes it is already passed now if i go to journal entries it will show me two entries one is for today's date another one is tomorrow's date now if i want to position myself as on today So you can see the receivables are changed and payables are changed totally from the journal entries which we have created over here and then when I want to position myself as on maybe specific date tomorrow you will see it will be going to normal. So this is how a CFO or directors can position themselves when they need to use unrealized currency gain and loss and its respective journal entries to pass with counterpart currency rates as on date and they can get benefit of making their balance sheet stronger or according to the laws of account they can manage this positioning very well okay guys hope uh, this will be useful to many accountant and finance people to create and use the very good feature of unrealized currency gain and loss thank you